Hi there, I'm Yara Mandan. Are you wondering what I'm doing? Take a closer look at the equipment I have here. Today I'm going to try out some dive gear from around the Sihan era to see what it would be like to dive before we had all of the fancy high-tech equipment and gear we have today. Masks of this era didn't have equalizing pockets and had only a single skirt instead of a double one. This made getting a good seal tough. With the double hose regulator, you receive air through the right hose and exhale through the left. The mouthpiece has a one-way valve on the left-hand side to exhale water through. There were no submersible pressure gauges, so tanks had reserve valves. When it became difficult to breathe, you flipped the lever down, which allowed you to breathe the last 500 pounds of air in the tank. The tanks were steel, typically holding about 2,250 pounds. When attaching the regulator to the tank, it's important to keep both hoses at the same height so exhale and inhale pressures remain even. Turn your air on all the way, then turn the knob back half a turn. Then check for air. Now you're ready. Since there are no equalizing pockets in this mask, you need to remove the mask to equalize. Pinch the nose, equalize, then put the mask back on and clear it. This was actually one of the hardest things for me to get used to because of how many extra steps it added every time I descend it. BCs weren't in common use yet, so you had to weight yourself to be as neutrally buoyant as possible. This was definitely a problem for me, I sunk like a rock even without weights. Another challenge was getting used to breathing from the regulator. Depending on your position in the water, breathing can be difficult because your regulator is on your back. If you're face down, you have to pull air down, like when you're using a snorkel. Whenever the mouthpiece is above the regulator, the system will free flow air. This is also a good method for clearing excess water out of the mouthpiece. Simply trap a bubble in the mouthpiece and put it back in your mouth. Tilting to the left and exhaling forcibly will also push water into the one-way valve and out of the mouthpiece. Because the fins were small and made out of rubber, they didn't offer much propulsion. By now I'm running low on air, so I switch over to reserve. I have just enough air left to try doing a Dauphin Don. A Dauphin Don was part of the training procedure to learn how to remove gear underwater and replace it. Its main purpose was to get you used to the gear underwater. The tank is removed over the head with your regulator still in place, and then put back on the same way in reverse. Thanks for watching! If you're interested in learning more, there are plenty of vintage dive gear clubs you could check out. As for me, I think I'm going to stick with my modern gear.